It's the second edition of Mike Omoto Show Annual Lecture. The Annual Lecture started in 2016, and the 2017 edition is start increased agricultural productivity for sustainable economic growth. Before now, Nigeria was known as the biggest exporter of cocoa and other farm produce before the discovery of crude oil. But after the discovery of oil, agriculture was abandoned. That is why these people have converged on Abuja to discuss a possible way back to the farm, even as crude price has failed Nigeria and thrown the country into recession. Agriculture plays a very pivotal role. But what has gone wrong with us? We should ask ourselves here, when last did any of us even touch a soil? Out of the color of Nigerian flag, green has two thirds of it. White only has one third. So, look at the way we should all focus on agriculture. To talk of the sign, the emblem, the identity of this nation. We do not have a sign of oil and gas in this country. For some people, they are lamenting. But for many of us, we turn to the Almighty God and say, Father, thank you. And may you keep that price down for a longer time. So that sense can come into the head of Nigerian leaders. Agriculture is the only thing that is sustainable. It's also very important that we analyze what are the real issues in agriculture? When we, have, when we have analyzed that, we will now understand the theme of today's gathering, which is increased agricultural productivity in a sustainable economic growth program. For these Harvard University done, he wants an urgent attention to be paid to farming. This, he said, is the only way to get the nation out of recession. They also highlighted some challenges facing agriculture in the country, one of which they said is the clash between herdsmen and farmers. The key challenges are production, marketing, value addition, and storage. Well, the issue of security is a very individualistic um, issue. Uh, every farm should take adequate uh, measures to ensure that you secure your farmland. Gone are the days where you just plant cassava and then you let it grow. In fact, the greatest dangers are not even the Fulani herdsmen. Uh, a lot of other things can also go wrong with the farm itself. So you need to secure the farm. It may even be as simple as edges. For us, for instance, we've planted moringa on the edges of our 300 acres. We've also planted palms 
I mean, cattle will not eat any of those two. And at the end of the day, within two to three years, they will form edges around the farm that will both be productive and also protective. But additionally, what a lot of people do not know is that there is actually a Nigerian Agricultural Insurance Corporation. So you can also insure your, uh, your, your farm and farm produce just against any kind of damage. It is no longer news that the economic predicament of Nigeria is as a result of the drastic fall in the price of crude oil. And now that the stakeholders have put forward their voices for a return to agriculture, it's however left to be seen what government and Nigerians stand to make of it. Our Biomi, our Kimbola, PTV News, Abuja.